This lesson is on Apparitions by the Matthew Good Band. It's from their 1997 album called Underdogs. And uh, the rhythm part has got some really nice chord sounds in it. So, <clears throat> And that's the most recognizable part of the song as well. They use specific chord voicing. So, you're starting out with a, a B chord up on the 7th position here. But instead of barring across all four, uh, sorry, all six strings, um, you're going to let the the first and second string ring open. Okay, so it sounds like this. So it's actually not a B major; it's a B sus two or something like that. I'm not going to get wrapped up with the chord names. This is the sound that you're looking for. chord is a, uh, a form of E chord and again I'm not sure what but what you're doing is you're playing the sixth string open the fifth string at the seventh fret the fourth string at the ninth fret the third string at the eighth fret and the first and second strings open so it sounds like this chords, so you're going like this. Then you go to a G sharp minor. Okay, that's at the fourth fret. Then you're going to go up to a C sharp minor. Uh, you could play that down here in the 4th fret, <clears throat> uh, and there's part of the song where um, I do that because I think it's easier. But on this one, you can actually hear uh, Matthew Good moving his fingers up. So if you want to be correct to, well, I think correct to the album, although I've also seen him play it up here. <laughs> but anyway, C sharp minor, I think on the album he goes up here to the, uh, to the ninth fret, C sharp minor. slides up again. Again, I think you can hear him sliding up to an E major up here at the 12th fret. Okay, so uh, I'll just do that very quickly. That's the introduction, he plays it through twice. When you get to the chorus, uh, sorry, to the verse, rather, it starts out the same. The B, uh, B sus 2, to that E, to the G sharp minor. Now here's another C sharp minor, but this time I play it, I find it easier to move to the 4th fret on this one. Sliding up to this, to that uh, E chord. And you go back to that uh, B. Always making sure that you can hear those first and second strings ring. Then he goes to an F major. To an A major, but again here, I think you can hear that first and second string ringing. Which means it's probably not an A major, but... Uh, so it sounds like this. On the fifth fret. So it's like an A major bar chord, only you're lifting, you're pivoting your fingers up a little so you can hear those first and second strings ring. 
Okay, so um, I'll just do this part again. Um, G sharp minor. Okay. Oops, I messed that up. Anyway, so it's a G sharp minor. And you uh, mute it a little while you move up to this uh, to the B. to a G major. And you go back into the main um, the main chord uh, progression. Now the solo <coughs> is played uh, I think the rhythm guitar stops playing. All, all I really notice is the bass guitar in the background. So there's this period of eight bars where if you're playing rhythm you just get to count. <coughs> and then you come into um, I guess a, a long outro which goes like this. Again you're up in the seventh position on this B. to that A chord with the first and second strings ringing. To an E for two bars, then the same thing. end on that E chord. <laughs> 